Good morning. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, God's grace and God's peace be with you. So we read the gospel this morning, and I, I thought, Jesus is asking me to do something that I can't do. Maybe we'll talk about that. Let us pause now for a moment as we prepare to offer the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are light in our salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you nourish and feed us with your body and blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life in the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, I have prepared for those who love you the good things, the treasures of heaven, which no eye can see right now. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, that loving you in everything and above all, we may be so blessed to attain the promises which surpass every human desire. Bless us now, O oh God, with the gift of your word. We pray this through Jesus Christ, your Son, lives with you in the spirit as one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, by a sudden blow, I am taking away from you the delight of your eyes. But do not mourn or weep or shed any tears. Groan in silence. Make no lament for the dead. Bind on your turban, put your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your beard and do not eat the customary bread. That evening, my wife died and the next morning I did as I had been commanded. Then the people asked me, will you not tell us what all these things that you are doing mean for us? I therefore spoke to the people that morning, saying to them, Thus the word of the Lord came to me. Say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, I will now desecrate my sanctuary, the stronghold of your pride, the delight of your eyes, the desire of your soul. The sons and daughters you left behind shall fall by the sword. Ezekiel shall be a sign for you. All that he did you shall do when it happens. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. You shall do as I have done, not covering your beards nor eating the customary bread. Your turban shall remain on your heads your sandals on your feet. You shall not mourn or weep, but you shall rot away because of your sins and groan one to another. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Our responsorial psalm. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You were unmindful of the rock that begot you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. When the Lord saw this, he was filled with loathing and anger toward his sons and daughters. You have forgotten the God who gave you birth. 
I will hide my face from them, he said, and see what, see what will then become of them. What a fickle race they are, sons with no loyalty in them. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. Since they have provoked me with their no God and angered me with their vain idols, I will provoke them with a no people. With a foolish nation, I will anger them. You have forgotten the God who who gave gave you birth. birth. The Lord be with you. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A young man approached Jesus and asked him a question. Tisher, what must I do to gain eternal life? Jesus said, well, why do you ask and call me good? There is only one who is good. But if you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. Which ones, he said, well, you should not kill, should not commit adultery or should not steal or bear false witness against another. Honor your mother and your father and love your neighbors yourself. But sir, I've done all these. What do I lack? Jesus said, if you want to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor. You will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I said, uh, I don't think that I could do what Jesus asked. Go and sell what you have, give everything away, and then follow me. That would be very difficult. It means that I probably would never be able to give a donation to Journey to New Life, or help my friends in El Salvador, or um, anyone that might need help. I was trying to think of what this might mean. Uh, First of all, I thought of St. Francis. St. Francis of Sisi. He had this conversion. He came from a very wealthy family. He gave everything away. Um, Mother Teresa, uh, Oscar Romero, people who have done this and lived this. I do think this, and I really, I think I would do this. I would give everything I have, everything, all of my monies, if there'd never be war again, I would do that. Or I, I think that any of us would give what we have if there would never be hunger or a child would never go hungry again in the world. Is that possible? It could be. So there are things that Jesus tells us that maybe seem very difficult, but in our, if our heart's in the right place, I think we would do something that we would never expect to do, but for a greater cause and higher, a higher calling. I think of this, um, the spirit of this is that, is there anything more important than my relationship with God? That's the question, I think. Is there anything more important than my relationship with God? And I think that we, we would answer no. And I think then if that's the case, 
we truly enter into this, the spirit of what Jesus teaches us. So what he says seems impossible uh, just on the fringe, but if you dig deeper, God isn't asking us to do anything impossible. Uh, as he it was said, with, with God, everything is possible. So think of our hearts and lives today that, that uh, about the greatest gift we have is in our, our relationship with, with God, which then blesses every other relationship that we have. Let us pray. We pray, O oh God, a special grace and a spirit to bring peace to the Middle East, especially in, in Gaza. We pray to the Lord. For, our prayer. For all those who seek uh, various forms of office, government offices, political uh, aspirations, that they may see their, their call is authority from God and to serve those in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We continue to bless our families, our children in school, our teachers, we pray to the Lord. Lord For the calming of the fires and the calming of the storms throughout our country, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Special intention today for Virginia Gioia and for all of our loved ones who died, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O God, and bless us that what we ask in faith we may indeed receive through Christ our Lord. God of all creation, through goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice and offering may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his life. From your priestly hands as well. For God who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered for all. Bestow upon us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace. We pray this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Right always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise. Dear beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, he is the word through whom you made the universe. He is the Savior you sent to redeem us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and was born of the Virgin Mary. For our sake, he opened his arms on the cross. He put it into death and revealed the resurrection. In this, he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Now, with the saints and angels in heaven, we honor you once again as we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of you. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed be in the highest. Father, you're holy indeed in all creation, rightly gives you praise. All life and holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit. 
from age to age you gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a perfect offering may be made to the glory of your name. And so, Father, we bring you these gifts. We ask you to make them holy by the power of your spirit, that these gifts may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At his command, we celebrate the sacred mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread. He gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. The meal was over, knowing that he was to bring all people to himself in the blood of the cross. He took the chalice, filled with wine. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He blessed the wine, gave it to his disciples, and said, take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray that as we receive the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in one by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray for your church spread throughout the world and make us grow in love together with our Holy Father and Shepherd, Pope Francis, for our Bishop James and those who minister in the church and for all your people. Remember to our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the peace of your heavenly kingdom. And Lord, for ourselves, we humbly pray that on that day when our earthly life comes to an end, you may welcome us to the kingdom of heaven. And there with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, and all the saints, we will honor you and we will praise you through your Son, Jesus, through whom you give us everything that is good. And our prayer we offer, through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. As Jesus taught us, we pray for the coming of the kingdom. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive us against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours and ever. O Lord Jesus, you said your apostles, you give to them the gift of peace. But not on our sins, but the faith we express and grant to us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you. Amen. And we share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. <clears throat> Lamb of God, do you take away the sins of the world? Have mercy on us. <clears throat> Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant 
us, please. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we to be invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Lord, we have been so blessed to receive the gift of the Eucharist. We humbly implore your mercy that we conform our will and our lives to his Christ image on earth, that we may be so blessed to be co-heirs in heaven. He is the Christ who lives with you in the spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May we go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a wonderful day.